for application A to G and you can see that it's a little bit complicated. And now I'm going to present about the flow model of flow analysis. For application A, which is Ampose, its model is client-server. The reason to use client-server flow model is because Ampose application must be able to communicate with server to request data and get response from server so that payment can be done. Client and server can communicate with each other and the directional of flow is bidirectional. The locations to have Ampos is reception counter. The flow of distribution for Ampos is 80 over 20, where 80% is for internal access and 20% is for external access. Below of it is the application B, which is back office. Its model is client server 2. The reason to use client server flow model is because back office application must integrate with server to access data about the medicine. Client and server can communicate with each other and the directional of flow is bidirectional. The locations to have back office are storeroom, reception counter, and office which is server room. Its flow distribution is 80 over 20 where 80% is for internal access and 20% is for external access. It's same as MPOS. Okay, the third one for flow analysis is application C which is web application. The model for this application is client server. Uh, the reason is because uh, web application can respond to the user when user requests data from web application. Client and server can communicate with each other and the direction for this flow is bidirectional. The location is located at front door, back door, shop corner 1, shop corner 2, shop corner 3, uh, reception counter and office server room. The flow distribution is 20 AT where 20 is internal access and 80 is external access. Okay, the fourth one for this flow analysis is application D which is Microsoft Office. The model is peer-to-peer. -peer. The reason is because Microsoft Office application is using POS itself and has its own data. Okay, the direction for this flow is unidirectional flow. Uh, the location is located at office server room and the flow distribution is 50-50 where is 50 is internal access and 50 is external access. Okay. The, then, uh, application E is for CCTV viewing system. The model is client server and the reason is because the camera device generate data and send it to the server. The user can request data to view the captured data from server. Okay, client and server can communicate with each other. The direction for this flow is bidirectional. Okay, the location located for this application is at front door, back door, shop corner one, shop corner two, shop corner three, uh, store room, reception counter, and office server room. The flow distribution for this. Uh, application is 20 AT where 20 is for internal access and 80 for external access. Then uh, we move to the next one. For application F is email where model is client server and the reason because client requests email data from email server and the server responds to the client. Client and server can communicate with each other and the direction for this flow is bidirectional. The location is in office server room and the flow distribution is 80-20 where 80 is internal access and 20 is for external access. Then the last one is application G where is social media. Uh, the model used is client server because uh, the reason is uh, client can request data from social media server and the server responds to the client. Uh, client and server can communicate with each other and the direction of this flow is bidirectional. The location located at front door, back door, shop corner 1, shop corner 2, shop corner 3, store room, reception, counter and office server room. Uh, the flow distribution for this flow is 20 AT 
where 20% is internal access and 80% is for external access. That is for flow analysis. Uh, hi, uh, so I'm going to explain about uh, flow distribution which is under flow analysis sector. Okay, uh, in this project, will be there will be seven flow which is A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Uh, in this flow, there will be two flow model which is client server and peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, there will be also flow boundaries and flow distribution. Uh, for flow distribution, we will be using ACT20, 2080 20 for client server and 50-50 uh, for peer-to-peer. -peer. Okay, uh, for the first flow which is A, uh, the flow model is client server which is a flow reception counter. Uh, flow distribution will be ACT20. Uh, the next one is B, client server. Uh, flow boundary is a uh, storeroom reception uh, and office server room uh, which is AT20 for flow distribution uh, flow C is a uh, client server flow model uh, the flow boundary is a uh, front door back door shop corner 1 shop corner, shop corner 2 shop corner 3 storeroom reception counter and office server room uh, flow distribution will be using 2080. Uh, so uh, the next one is D, flow D, uh, which is peer to peer. Uh, flow boundary is uh, office server room, which is uh, 5050 for flow distribution. Uh, the next one is flow E. Uh, flow model using is will be using client server, uh, which is uh, front door until office server room uh, as you can see in this table so the flow distribution is 2080 uh, for f client server 2 uh, office server room and flow distribution is 8020 uh, for the last one flow is g client server uh, the flow boundary as you can see in this um, table uh, the next one, uh, so the flow boundary for G is 2080. Okay, uh, uh, okay, so the next one is flow boundary. Uh, there will be six flow boundary in this future. Uh, one medic pharmacy. Uh, so uh, the first one is FB1, which is internet. From LAN to the server before inter the network connection. So the FB2 is reception counter. In the reception counter, which three user. Uh, FB3, which is office, which four user. FB4 store for two user. FB5 front door. Uh, FB6 is back door, uh, which uh, both of them is which one user. Okay, as you can see, uh, in the next. Uh, in this picture, uh, you can see uh, internet represent a uh, cloud represent internet. Uh, uh, you can see server PC uh, and one LCD for front door because uh, it's for uh, advertisement. Advertisement. Uh, so uh, then there will be total five CCTV along uh, in. Uh, every area okay and then uh, there will be also a printer in reception that can be used uh, by both reception room and server room okay uh, the next one is flow specification okay in this flow specification uh, there will be two flow, which is a uh, composite flow and backbone flow. For the composite flow, there will consist a uh, four composite, which is CF1 until CF4. Okay, in this composite, uh, it consists all the flow that are that are required in the certain composite. 
For the first one, CF1, uh, it consists of flow C, flow E, and flow G. Okay, uh, the next one is CF2, consists of flow B, C, E, and G. While CF3 consists of FA, FB, FC, FE, and FG. Uh, the last one is CF4, uh, consists of uh, flow C, flow E, and flow G. Uh, in this uh, in this compo uh, composite flow, you can uh, refer back to the uh, flow distribution table back then. Okay, uh, and the next one is backbone flow. Uh, it only has one BB one consists of uh, flow B, flow C, flow D, and flow uh, flow E, flow F, and flow G. Uh, so uh, you can uh, more understand if you can see the uh, flow, spe flow specification uh, plan as um, I mentioned before. Then my turn will explain about flow specification. Uh, you can see the table how to know total the composite flow. Uh, base effort capacity, specify service, guarantee service. Uh, for example, composite flow one consists web application, and then uh, CCTV viewing system application, and social media application. So, reliability capacity and delay you can get all the data from application requirement. Uh, best effort capacity for composite flow one, which is 8.7 Mbps and it's specific specific 9. Guarantee service for ability 99.98%. The capacity 6.5 Mbps for delay 35 milliseconds. Next, composite flow two, best effort capacity, which is 5.4 Mbps, specified service 9. The guarantee service 99.98%, capacity 6.5 Mbps, then delay 35 milliseconds. Composite flow 3, base effort capacity which is 5.4 Mbps, specified service 9, the guarantee service 99.95%, with uh, capacity 6. 9.8 Mbps delay 40 milliseconds. Next composite flow 4 best effort capacity which eight which is 8.7 Mbps specified service 9 guarantee service uh, for reliability 99.98% the capacity 6.5 Mbps next delay 35 milliseconds. For backbone one, uh, for best effort capacity, which is uh, 8.7 Mbps, then specify service net guarantee service for ability 99.98%, the capacity 9.8 Mbps, delay 40 milliseconds. This is uh, how to apply capacity modifier by calculating. Uh, you can see uh, composite flow weight. Uh, FC for web application. FE for CCTV system application. And then social media. Uh, you can get... Uh, this is capacity. You can see... Um, before this table uh, for web application capacity 9.8 uh, we plus uh, CCTV viewing system application 6.5 and then plus 8.7 and you can get 25 Mbps and then for composite flow 2 
FB for back, back office and then FC web application and then F E CCTV then FG social media so you total all the capacity then you can get 30.4 Mbps for backbone it is different um, different because you you must time with two and then you can see on uh, this composite flow one plus composite flow four and then plus fp plus fd and plus ft and then uh, the data and uh, then you can get the data from the table then you, um, time two you can get 70 mbps because two you can see uh, composite flow one and composite flow four it is to uh, it is table of two part flow spec composite flow one uh, liberty 99.98 percent and then capacity 25 mbps and then uh, composite flow 2 liberty 99.98 percent and then capacity 30.4 mbps then you the delete 35 uh, you can see the deal all delay from composite flow 1 until backbone 1 uh, same value it is 35 millisecond 